Hey guys, it's Miss Sandy, and welcome back to another drawing video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a cupcake. And, um, I'm going to be using a pen, because, um, then you show up with the camera, and if the camera happens to blur up, or well, like, all of a sudden, then, um, uh, ignore it, because this is, um, not a really good camera. So, um, and you, it's optional if you want to draw the candle and the cherry. I just drew those for decoration. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So, um, I'm going to have it. Oh, wait, hold on. I got to get a blank sheet. That was a not blank. There you go. There's the blank sheet of paper I was looking for. I'm going to do, be doing a color example later at the end, but you don't have to do that color example that I show. So, um, yeah, so what you're going to want to do first is. You want to make a line, a dot here and here, and those are going to be that's going to be like the size of the cupcake. There's the fuzz. Um, that's going to be the size of the cupcake. Um, what do you call it? Um, cupcake wrapper, or whatever it's. Called. So then you go on the dot this on this dot, and then you make a squiggly line. And connects to this line. There's the fuzz. Okay, so then you go back to this dot and you go down like that. And then the same thing like this. And you can go slightly inward. And then you can slight make a slight like a curvy right, line right here. And then the final step is to, you can just make lines like this. But you don't have to if you don't want to. Okay, and then we're gonna be drawing the frosting. And we don't actually draw the actual cake because it'll interfere with the frosting. So what you wanna do first is Make a curvy line right here. And that's the bottom of the very first layer of the frosting. And then you can, so you kind of make it like an ovalish shape, I guess. And then, now we can make the actual cake of the cupcake. And um, what you do is you go down and down, just like that. And then what you do is you make the second layer. And then you can make a third layer. And you can make a fourth layer. You can make a fifth layer. But you don't have to make that many layers. But for the last one, either way, you're going to have to make a little thing like that. And I'm going to be showing you how to draw um, a candle and then a cherry, but you don't have to do either one. You can just skip to the coloring stage. So how you draw the candle is two straight, like this is a birthday um, cupcake. You draw two straight lines next to each other. Okay, and then you cut it off. And then you draw like lines on it. And then you can draw like a little flame that. I think you draw a little particle effect. Okay. And then at the coloring stage, it's going to look way better. So then uh, how you draw the cherry is you draw a circle. If you want, you can draw another circle in the middle, like tiny like that. So it looks like a little bit like an olive. And I'll just um, show like the lighting. It makes it look a little better. You can make a thin line. And then if you want, you can make little um, leaps or whatever you want to call them. Okay, so now we can do the coloring. And the coloring is, um, I'm gonna be using markers just because, why not? So I'm just gonna draw a, or color a blue cupcake paper thing, but you can do whatever color you want. This is just one example. 
You draw like purple or pink or green if that's your thing. But of all colors, I'm just, I'm just gonna do blue. Okay, and then um, I'm just gonna make a light brown for the actual cake, so it's basically just the first layer. If you go out like that, that's fine. It doesn't really matter because no one can really see it or notice it that much. Then we can do that. And if you want, um, you can add um, sprinkles, and the colors I prefer to use for sprinkles are um, pink. Um, you know, first we have to do the Oh yeah, no. We have to do, do you could do pink, um, you could do like bluish, um, I think you could do orange and yellow. So I'm just gonna do random little sprinkles. And these are terrible sprinkles, I know. No, let me do a darker pink. Oh yeah, that looks better. Um, blue. Um, orange. Or yellow. I'm pretty sure you can do red too. Okay, so about the candle, um, I'm gonna use this purplish color and I'm just gonna trace those lines that I made or go in the middle of them, like that. Then I can make use orange and yellow for the flame. You can do, oh gosh, that's bad. Um, you can do orange in the center. And then orange, and then yellow around it. You can add some yellow sparks. And then for the cherry, um, you just um, color it red and then you fill the top in green. So you, um, about that circle you made, you can do everything but that circle you made. So it looks a little better. And there's the red. And there's the green. And if you want, um, for the frosting, you can leave it white. Um, I'm going to leave it white, but it's up to you if you want to make it like, um, what did I have on the front cover? Um, a pink frosting, that's a fi that's fine. Um, if you want, but usually if you have a chocolate cake, it's usually vanilla um, frosting. I'm pretty sure that's how life works. But yeah, I guess this video is over. So um, please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel, please. And um, that's, we're, we're good, we're good. Okay, see you guys.